Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Adam and welcome to Brickstore Studios. Today we're doing a review of the... <coughs> sorry, my voice is a little bad this week. Um, so sorry if it goes, goes. But anyway, back to the actual set. Today we are reviewing 75243 the 20th anniversary Slave 1. Got this after my birthday. Sorry the review's a little bit late. But um, yeah, so we have many figures down there. Also, before I forget, we have a Princess Leia as well. So, let's take a look at those in detail. So, first up is a exclusive figure. This guy is called Zuckus. He's one of the bounty hunters that helps Boba Fett get Han Solo in Carbonite to Jabba the Hutt. Well, this is a first for this guy. Never got him before. Lovely silicone head. Quite a nice new mould. Not bad, not bad. Um, torso's pretty cool of the dress piece. As you can see there, the dress piece, same on the back as well, not bad, not bad. Pretty cool gun, just with the binoculars on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, next up we have, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> Forlom. This guy's pretty cool, he looks like a bit of a bug with that headpiece. Uh, not bad at all. Uh, torso and legs, pretty cool. We've got some like, robots, so it doesn't make like a really crappy C-3PO sort of thing. And then he has quite a long range gun. Thirdly, my favourite figure in the whole set of Boba Fett, like my first I'm getting as well. Pretty nice figure, with a lovely pauldron sort of thing. Not covering up any arm print, no arm print on this guy. But he's got the angry cone feathers underneath, boring. The um, thing that can fold down. The helmet, again, really cool. Torso and legs, Boba Fett, awesome. <coughs> Pretty awesome figure, really sick. And then the jetpack on the back. He's also got a gun with an extension on it, which is quite cool. Then we have Han Solo and Han Solo and Carbonite. The moles. One disappointing thing is they still haven't changed the hair. So the hair is more flat here, whereas it's not on this guy. So I'm pretty disappointed about that. Han Solo looks very cool. Nice figure. Small little blaster. Nice hair. And does he have a second print? Let me check. He does. So on one side, quite a um, focus. Nope, okay. Quite a serious face, and on the other, quite a happy face. So, not bad for that. Now it's going to focus again. Right, um, uh, perfect. <laughs> Torso, very cool again with the jacket, the blue jacket, and the white shirt, and the brown trousers. Lastly, we have the Printer's Lair 20th Anniversary guitar from 2000, with the nice cool blaster, lovely hairpiece. Um, I think this figure went like loads of money if you had like a the hair piece and it was like flat with some sort of special money figure or something, I don't know. But torso is pretty simple, no legs, and the 20th anniversary on the back. So oh, wait, let's zoom in. So that is our mini figures. Let's get on to the actual slave one, because there are no side builds in this set. The slave one is a very iconic ship from the prequels and the um, original trilogy with Boba Fett and his father. Django Fett, both pilots it, but we have here the Boba Fett version. This is featured in the Empire Strikes Back, and um, yeah, I seem very formal in this. Um, but yeah, no, yeah. But God, look at it, it's really cool, and I love it. Um, start off from the back, well, bottom. Two turrets, spin round, pew 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 pew, um, pretty normal. No, they're just there for show. Um, the red, the red's pretty nice with some cool building techniques, cool pieces as well. There's a little flap here that lifts up. And if we grab our lovely hard cellulose carbonite, he plops in there, and he's safe. So yeah, moving on to the sides and lovely detailing, creebling as well. Not too much though. More of the red goes round to the wings. On the wings, sort of things. Um, oh, that's, that's a gun. Okay, that's not supposed to be there. Um, that's pretty cool with the um, the wings. Pretty cool. Pretty boring build. The last bag was pretty boring anyway, which of these. Got the little bit of tan now. Quite odd. Little thing. Greebling. Not too bad. Orange. Why? Don't need orange. It's such a clean chip. This ruins it. Um, the lovely bit that covers it there. Really cool. There's a cool build technique here. Looks like where you. Uh, can't really explain it, but it's really nice. Let's see if I can get it off for you guys quick. Wait, no, it's probably gonna fail. Um, no, no, it did fail. 
So like this, you have one of these pieces, like that, and you just sit on this really, really cool. It's such a cool building technique. Okay, I'll fix that later. Oh dear me, I fear I've done something very, very stupid and now I'm not going to be able to fix it. Well, crap. Anyway, down to the front. Some stickers actually here. Pretty awesome. The copper, poof, off. And if we grab our beautiful, beautiful Boba Fett, you have to change them a little bit. You have to put the pauldron down. You have to add the gun like this and up like that. From the fit, you have to put them in this way. There we go. Not, not really too bad, but he's pretty finickety to get in. But, um, yeah. And, wee So when you pick it up, the wings fall down a little The wings like this. When you pick it up, like that. Also, there's a carrying handle at the back. So you can frame with some engines as well. Not bad. Tool. Um, and if we bring you down right here, these little things, they fire these things. Yeah, I've lost both of them forever. Ooh. There we go. Right. That is basically the whole set. Not much else to talk about it. Um, overall, it's a very nice set. And I really like it. Really cool with some nice minifigures. Um, much and much really good, but nothing can really top the ECS one, can it? So yeah, um, see you in the next one. Bye!